This will be a spoiler-free review, just our thoughts on the film, the performance, the setting, and everything else there. Uh, right. Anybody want to volunteer to go first, or do you want me to roll with the first? Please. All right, so after watching the film, I really... So far, it's a unique Western film. I wouldn't say it's your typical Western film. It's something that will intrigue you because there is some type of mystery into it. Mm -hmm. And in the very end, there is a good twist in a way where you're like, wow. Because a lot of times I, you know, watching this movie, I was questioning a lot of things and certain things I I could be right. I could be wrong. So mm -hmm. it, it's like one of those films that make you think and make you start trying to piece everything together. So mm -hmm. I would say, don't think of this as your ordinary Western film. Think of this as a unique type of Western film without the guns, without anything mm -hmm. like a drama piece to a point where you are sitting back and you're trying to analyze each character in a way where you're trying to pick their brain and see where they are going. It's a story that just happens to take place in the West. Correct. You know, as opposed to a Western per se. Fair. Although, to be fair, you could also say that it's a film that, in many aspects, could only have happened in the West, mm -hmm. uh, given a lot of the uh, undertones and subject matter that were discussed in the film. Well, not even discussed, but, like, alluded to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I don't know if the if you try to do it something like now, like, I don't think it would have hit as hard. <clears throat> um, but, yeah, as far as this film, first of all, just uh, since... So we keep it spoiler free. I uh, don't want to say too much on the plot or the story, but obviously it's very layered. So mm -hmm. if you're someone like Sam Elliott who sees the movie and thinks it's, you know, it's a, not a Western, even though it's set in the West, um, leave your apprehensions at the door because this is going to be a movie that isn't so much your typical uh, Oscar bait Western material that you've probably seen in years gone by. Uh, this is telling a completely different kind of story. And it's telling a story about acceptance. Uh, it's a telling a story about uh, knowing who you are inside, being true to thyself, and <laughs> being able to find the good in others. Mm -hmm. And as far as the acting is concerned, uh, Cumberbatch, this is definitely his movie. Although I would say... Uh, uh, Plemons, definitely, this is one of his better roles, one of his more dramatic roles. Maybe not as um, not as necessary as other films he's been in. Uh, but uh, Cody Smith McPhee, who plays uh, Pete, uh, mm -hmm. uh, stepson to Plemons, that is some good acting, I mm -hmm. have to say. Like, if anybody stole the show from Cumberbatch, it's him. Correct. You know, both him and they both work off very well off each other, uh, almost like a father son dynamic, or maybe like a, uh, a a rivals sort of feeling. But you you go into a movie like this just to see the acting. You, you're not worried you know, so much about the story. The story definitely plays in itself, but the acting is what really sells it. Yeah, you know, and I think in this case here is basically we just offer a quick uh, drive by hello back to you as well. Um, again, this is our spoiler-free review of uh, of uh, <clears throat> the power of the dog. My thoughts on this one: um, first of all, the set design. You know, the it felt like 1920s Montana. I loved how right. they did that. I know there was some complaints and some argument about the fact that it was New Zealand. Fine. You know what? I forgot that it was filmed in New Zealand for most of it. You know, right. I think I give a lot of credit to that. I mean, New Zealand is phenomenal as, as a filming location, anyway. But <laughs> It doubled so well as Montana that I forgot it was on the other side of the planet as they're filming this. Um, <clears throat> set pieces, again, the performances, I mean, you guys have already talked about it. You know, this is, I can see why this is getting so many accolades. You know, Benedict spent it to Cumberbatch and Kirsten Dunn, um, but everybody involved, Jane Campion uh, for directing as well. You know, there was something about this film that I wasn't expecting i didn't know honestly what would i expect coming into this i really had no idea mm -hmm. but i find myself more intrigued by it than i thought i would be because of the fact that the performances themselves and the direction were that strong that you kind of sit there wondering what the next thing is going to be and how the next thing is going to end up and it is a little bit edgy your seat that way 
-hmm. out of just pure curiosity to see where the story is going to go, you know? And honestly, yeah, I can see this film absolutely winning an Academy Award or two. It's like just finding out about the director, uh, Jane Campion. I think the only other film of hers I've ever seen was The Piano. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, uh, considering what she was able to do with, uh, what was it? Anna Paquin Mm -hmm. in that film. Uh, at that point, the youngest woman ever, to, uh, I think the youngest person, period, to uh, ever win an Academy Award. Um, I think she did really well being able to direct um, uh, McPhee in the sense that he had to be a multi-layered character, just as Benedict Cumberbatch had to be a multi-layered character. If you think this is going to be the kind of story where it's like, oh, you know, bullying the, the soft-looking kid and stuff like that. <laughs> You have another thing coming, mm, right? And based upon the piano, and based on something like this, uh, Campion has a way of um, redirecting your attention from what you think you're going to get versus what you really do get. Yes, and uh, that's what made this an engaging two hours. You know, it didn't feel like two hours to me. Right. And yeah, to be fair, we did knock on it at times. There were definitely some trophy things going on. One hundred percent. Yes. But overall, yes, I can see this movie absolutely winning an Academy Award. And I would, it's a movie that I think if you watched it again, you might catch on some nuances you didn't pick up on the first time. Right. Oh, yeah, no, that, now that you can think of it, like, mm-hmm. there now is something know what I you remember know. from, like, <laughs> when, uh, I guess, uh, Plemons and Kirsten Dunn's character arose, uh, mm-hmm. when they start talking and everything, there were a couple of lines that I figured it would just kind of, like, throw away. Mm-hmm. But now, as you saw how the characters developed and the fates of some of them, it does hit harder. Yes, thinking right. about it the second time around, and that's always the good, like that's always the the detail of a good story. If it actually makes lines more important than they yep. were when they initially are said. So yeah, credit all around, kudos all around. Right. Yeah. It's well, just something. Now, I would just say now, it was this being that's going to win the big awards come Oscar time. Mm-hmm. I don't know. We don't know because I think it'll pick up. I think it'll get prominent one. films, but there are some heavy hitters. hitters. I think it will get one, possibly. I'd, possibly. I'd say best best director might might go there. I think. Okay. I, I would like to see uh, Benedict get the the big one for himself. Mm-hmm. Well, but I don't. We, think, I don't think he will on this one. I. I don't I, suspect that. But I think it will walk away with at least one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would like to say at least see something, mm-hmm. writing or directing. Uh, well, this would be what this would be an adapted screenplay, correct? Yes, yes. correct. So, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I almost hate to say it, and then I hate to bring the person's name up again, but. Um, if this does win uh, best adapted screenplay or best directing, Sam Elliott's going to go ahead and shoot himself in the foot. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I think Sam Elliott will survive on this one. You know, <laughs> as somebody who's played, you know, the angry cowboy for decades, literally, you know, in fun form or another, one decade or another, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, if you, if you want to if you want to promote how polarizing a movie can be. Mm. Get someone who's almost feels <laughs> insulted by it. Fair, yeah. yeah. But I think Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, I think he he's going to get more recognition from this, even if he doesn't win the Academy Award out of it. Which will definitely play into Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness when it comes out in two months yeah. after the awards. Yeah, one's going to feed into the other on that one. You know what? Maybe he would get the best director. On Actually, that hold movie. on. No, wait. Not even two months. Like roughly five weeks. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. It's the month of April, and then it's that first week of May. Wow. So, I mean, we, Academy, if you're smart, if you want those ratings. Yeah. Just it say is a business it. at the end of the day, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right, gentlemen, any final thoughts as we wrap this up, I think? um, Pretty much all I had to say is it was, it was a film that I did not expect to be sitting two hours to watch. I yeah. thought I was going to be like, yo, no, I was really intrigued. I mm-hmm. was sitting there at the edge of my seat trying to piece together everything. And and I never experienced a film that made you piece together everything. Mm-hmm. 
So I picked I a good give, one. I got to give a shout out to Ryan, by the way, because this is you're two for two right now. You know, two movies that I was kind of like, eh, okay, and two movies I walked away from seeing, damn. So uh, to to be fair, to be fair, if someone wants to pick the next movie for next week, that's completely fine. Oh, I'm not There's trusting no myself on that one. From. No, no, it's your job now. You oh, set God the bar. You set the bar. You're keeping the bar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, dude. <laughs> take it. Take it. Take that. Take oh, that. Fine responsibility. It. All right. Okay. Uh, final thought wise, I mean, everyone played the part that they were supposed to, some better mm-hmm. than others. And uh, again, while we joke about the kind of tropes that came into the Western part of the film, right. you know, there was so much more of it that wasn't necessarily Western. And I think that really worked towards its favor. It's going to be interesting to see uh, Cody Smith McPhee and Elvis. Because mm-hmm. that's the next big movie I think he's in, and he's the one that I really want to go mm-hmm. ahead and like try to see where he goes from here. Um, but again, everyone did well, and yeah, this would be something that if you wanted to feel a little bit more cultured and sophisticated as far as a movie goes, this is one to watch. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Cool. 